cada día envolver con un beso y una flor para él. Mayerli Briseño González was a child living in Colombia's war zone when she was displaced by armed groups. Now, five years after a peace agreement was signed with Colombia's leftist FARC guerrilla group, she and her son are living through violence once again. El 2 de enero, cuando todo esto... On the 2nd of January, we were told officially by armed groups that war between them would start. We were told to stay in our homes for five days if we didn't want to risk our lives. At least 23 people were killed in clashes that weekend alone in Arauca. This region near Colombia's Venezuela border is the site of a turf war between FARC rebels who did not want to sign the accord and the leftist ELN group, the National Liberation Army. At stake, control of lucrative drug smuggling routes between Colombia and Venezuela and entry into North American and European markets. Both countries' governments are pointing fingers at who is to blame. We share more than 450 kilometers with Venezuela, and if we start to see our region, it is one of the most militarized regions, even U.S. military, what are we seeing? A fight to take over, no matter what the costs. With a population of just 260,000 people, local media reports 76 homicides since the start of the year. More than 1,200 people have fled the violence. In Bogotá, community leaders held a cultural event on Tuesday to highlight the region's problems and appeal for more help from the government. They fear the violence will only get worse ahead of May's presidential elections. They say what's most alarming is that community leaders and human rights defenders who speak out in Arauca are being targeted. In Arauca, the seed of fear has been planted for so long, and we have been silenced for so long. Today, we say we need to raise our voices. I lived this already as a child. While civilian groups have asked for a decreased military presence in Arauca, Colombia's Minister of Defense this month defended the government's actions there. He said the primary mission of the more than 7,000 security forces and 800 special ops army troops deployed in Arauca is to combat insurgents and protect civilians. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.